Today, we'll show you how to track website traffic using Google Analytics and Monster Insights. First, we'll look at how easy it is to see your Google Analytics data on your WordPress dashboard using Monster Insights, and then I'll show you how to see your data on your Google Analytics account. For this video, I'll be using Monster Insights Pro. I've already installed, activated, and connected it to Google Analytics, and now we can start seeing the reports on the WordPress dashboard. We'll begin with the overview report. So to start, just go to Insights, and then to Reports, and then to Overview. Here you can see a traffic overview report of the overall performance of your website. You can click the button at the top right to change the date range, and beneath that, you'll see a graph displaying your site's sessions and page views. Just below the graph, you'll see the sessions, page views, average session duration, and total users for the time you've chosen. Scrolling down, you'll see the data about your new and returning visitors and a breakdown of the types of devices used to view your site. Next, you'll see the top 10 countries that your users are from. You can use that information to create campaigns, messages, and content for those regions. And next to countries, you can see the top 10 referrals reports showing you the website sending traffic to your site. And just below that, you'll see your top posts and pages. The Publishers tab provides data about your top landing pages, and right beneath that, you'll see your top outbound links and top affiliate links. And scroll down a little, and you'll see your top download links. A little further down the page, you'll see your demographics report, an interest report, and the average scroll depth of your pages. Now return to the top of the page and click the Search Console tab. Here's where you'll see the keywords that people are using to find your site. The next tab is the e-commerce tab. With a single click, you can start tracking sales from your WooCommerce and other e-commerce stores without hiring a developer or learning how to use Google Tag Manager. The e-commerce tab provides helpful information about your online store, like your conversion rate, transactions, revenue, and average order value. Then scroll down a little, and you'll see your top products report. And a little further down, you'll see the essential data about your top conversion sources, and at the bottom of the page, you'll see the total add to carts, total remove from cart, new customers, and abandoned checkouts report. Now back to the top, and we'll go to the Dimensions tab. Now you can use this tab to help you keep track of the custom dimensions that you've set up. Now let's go over to the Forms tab. This is where you'll see the performance of your online forms, like WP Forms and other popular WordPress form plugins. And the Real-Time tab lets you see how many people are active on your site along with helpful information. Now, this is great to have, especially after you've launched a campaign. And the Site Speed tab helps you keep track of your site's load time. This is helpful after you've changed a theme, added a plugin, added images, or made other changes to your site. And last is the Media tab. This provides detailed analytic information about your embedded YouTube, Vimeo, and HTML5 videos. For more on what you'll find in Monster Insights, be sure to check out our Ultimate Guide to Monster Insights Dashboard Reports. Now let's see how to find traffic sources in Google Analytics. So to get started, log into your Analytics account. Then go to Acquisition. And then head over to Traffic Acquisition. You can use this report to see which channels drive the most traffic to your website. For instance, you can see how much organic traffic you're getting, info about referral traffic, direct traffic, and more. To get a deeper look, just click the Session Default Channel Group drop-down. Now from there, select Session Source Media. Now you can see which search engines contributed to your organic traffic, which sites sent you referral traffic, and more. To find traffic sources and other web traffic analytics for specific pages, you'll need to navigate to Engagement, then Pages and Screens. Now in the table, you'll see both views and users. So you can see how many views each page got and how many users completed those views. To add source medium to the report, just click the plus icon above the totals column. Then in the dropdown, choose traffic source. Then session source medium. Now you have a table of your pages by source medium and views. To change this table to view your landing pages by source medium, just scroll over the Event Count column, then click the down arrow next to All Events, and select First Visit. 
Then click the Event Count column title to sort by landing page visit events. Now you have your landing page visits report by source media. See the link in the description for more ways that you can track website traffic in Google Analytics and a list of other tips, tricks, and tools that you can use to understand your site's traffic a lot better. And that's it. Now you can track your website traffic using Google Analytics in just a few steps. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.